Hey folks, it's me, Michael Bach, your diversity dude, and this is Monday Morning Musings. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope this finds you well. I'm getting my hair back, I'm letting the COVID cut grow out. Uh, I wanted to talk about um, this whole uh, Jacob Blake situation in the US. If you're not familiar, uh, in Kenosha, Wisconsin, everyone's favorite hotspot, Kenosha, Wisconsin, um, African American man by the name of Jacob Blake stopped to try to break up a fight between two women. Something ensued. We don't know what yet. Um, but in the end, as Mr. Blake was trying to get into his car, a uh, police officer at point blank range shot seven bullets into his back in front of his three children who were in the vehicle all under the age of 10. And of course, as should have happened and as ex is expected, there was huge protest and outrage. And uh, I, I think the way the Kenosha police have responded is really not good uh, in some ways. Um, refusing to release the name of the officer. It has since been released. And there's video of this. And I'm going to, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to discourage you from looking because it is quite traumatizing to watch this happen. Um, and, but I want to talk about what happened with uh, last week with the NBA, um, the WNBA, the NHL, Major League Baseball, uh, all of whom stopped, they didn't play their games in protest. And this, you know, I mean, I wasn't going to say anything. And then Jared Kushner, son-in-law of the trumpet in chief, um, decided to shoot his mouth off in an interview and said, well, it's great that, you know, these players are wealthy enough that they can take a day off work. But average Americans can't do that. Thought, wow, you really are missing the point. You would know the point if it poked you in the eye, Mr. Kushner. The reason why these players um, didn't play their games was not about taking a night off work. It was about taking the attention away from them. The average American, when they go to work, does not have an entire television uh, network that follows their work. If you work at Best Buy, you don't have crews cr cr crambling to, to see you sell what, I don't know what you do at Best Buy, but what do you, you know, you get my point. The NBA, the NHL, the Major League Baseball, the WNBA, um, they're celebrities, they have status, they have cameras following their every move. And they saw that the attention was not on the situation, or in other words, not enough attention um, on the situation with uh, uh, Jacob Blake in Kenosha. And I'm gonna post a link down below to an interview from CNN um, with the uh, coach of the Atlanta Hawks, Lloyd Pierce. And he really articulates it really well for me. Um, I think the thing for me that is most difficult with this is that it just keeps happening. And the, the call to action is not being taken. I think police services and, and other organizations are kind of putting their head down and hoping that this just passes. Well, it's not going to pass. So again, the call to action for every police service is to go through a systemic racism audit to put your people through training, um, to reconcile with communities and to change the way you do policing. It should not be gun first. This man didn't have a weapon. They shot him in the back. 
is just, it's not appropriate uh, and it's time for action. So I'm calling on every police service in my country, as well as in the United States, it's time for action. And that action starts with you taking a look internally to determine where the barriers are. Yeah. And my hat goes off to the NBA and the NHL and the MLB and the WNBA. Good job. Do more of that, please. Use that power to wake people up. And at least then we may actually see some change in my lifetime. Every day is political. That's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, remember to uh, share this video on your social media. Subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link and like it, like it, like it. Like it, like it, like it. Um, remember to connect with me on social media. I am at Diversity Dude MB. And remember to connect with CCDI. They're at CCDI Social. And if you haven't got it yet, pick up your copy of this bad boy. Birds of All Feathers, Doing Diversity and Inclusion Right. Number one bestseller on Amazon. Uh, available everywhere you buy books, or you can go to michaelbach.com and uh, click on the books to get your copy today. That's it. Have a fantastic week. Uh, stay healthy. Stay safe. Hug your loved ones. And I'll see you next week for another episode of Monday Morning Musings.